after this programme. On to other news here, and a paedophile who worked in children's homes used his links to Manchester United to groom children. Bruce McLean, who is 63, was jailed for 15 years today. He was convicted of 31 historical sex offences, including involving, sorry, six young boys. The abuse happened at homes in Derbyshire and Cheshire. Judge Patrick Thompson branded him an arrogant sexual predator. And detectives said the abuse of his position of trust was appalling. From Chester Crown Court, Tim Scott reports. A predator with no remorse who treated the children in his care as sexual playthings. But Bruce McLean hadn't reckoned with the survivors of his abuse coming forward and today he was jailed at Chester Crown Court. I hope it says to people that no matter how long ago the abuse took place, you can come forward, you can report it, you'll be believed, you'll be listened to and supported and hopefully you too can get justice. McLean worked at children's care homes in the 70s and 80s. One was Kilree in Nutsford, now demolished, and the other, Taxel Lodge in Whaley Bridge, Derbyshire, now used as private flats. The trial at Chester Crown Court heard that some of the children who were brought to the homes where McLean worked had already suffered abuse at home. They were frightened and they were vulnerable. McLean would befriend them. He took them to watch Manchester United train. He would buy them items of football kit. But then, having groomed them and having gained their confidence, he abused them in the worst way possible. McLean had been jailed before in 1997 for abusing children and the latest convictions mean he abused at least 19 of them during his time as a care worker. Well this is one of the most serious cases because uh, Bruce McLean abused children at at least three children's homes. Solicitor Peter Garsden represented some of the abuse survivors who testified against McLean. You've obviously spoken to a lot of the survivors. How does this kind of abuse affect them going into adult life? Well, it makes them, unfortunately, completely dysfunctional in most ways. They have an inability to form relationships with the same or the opposite sex. They don't trust authority. They find it very hard to hold down a job. They suffer very serious psychological problems, lack of sleep, alcohol, drugs, uh, it, it, it results in a, a completely ruined life for any individual and it's very sad. Sentencing McLean to 15 years, Judge Patrick Thompson told him he'd stolen children's childhoods and innocence. But he praised the survivors whose evidence convicted the 63-year-old and said they're to be commended for their bravery. Tim Scott, ITV News, Chester.